and welcome to this video. What is the shape I hold in my hand? A cylinder that has a circular top and a circular bottom. Now what if I asked you how much water do I need to fill this tumbler with? You will tell me, well, we need to know the volume. And you are exactly correct. Yes, we need to know the volume. So for you to calculate the volume, I'm going to give you two dimensions, the length and the width of a rectangle that made the cylinder. And you might wonder now, am I talking correct? We want to calculate the volume of a cylinder, but I am giving you dimensions of a rectangle. If you want to know how, then continue along and you will figure out how. All right, so here is our cylinder with the circular shapes at the bottom and at the top. And here is the rectangle. So it has a longer edge and a shorter edge. Now, what I'm going to do is fold or roll this rectangle across one of its edges. I'm going to roll it across the shorter edge. You can also roll it across the longer edge. So when I roll it across the shorter edge, the rectangle gets converted into a cylinder, right? Okay, that's a very fine idea, but what do we do with it? Well, now if you observe, and you will be able to understand the relation between the dimensions of a rectangle to that of the cylinder. Watch, when we roll this rectangle across the shorter edge, right here, this shorter edge became the height of the cylinder. How tall the cylinder is? Because of the shorter edge. Because we rolled it across the shorter edge. If you had rolled it across the longer edge, that would be the height of the cylinder. Meaning how tall this is. And the remaining dimension, which was the longer one in this case, got rolled out into a circle right here. The entire length got rolled out into a circle. Now again, all right, we understood how to relate the dimensions of a rectangle to that of a cylinder. But how is it related to the volume? All right, let me show you. So you will recall for any three-dimensional shape, the volume introduces a newer dimension called the height, meaning how tall that shape is. And in order for us to calculate the volume of any shape, meaning the capacity or the quantity of the material that shape can hold or that container can hold, is given by area of its base shape times the height, meaning how tall it is. So for this cylinder, what is our base shape? A circuit, right? So area of this base times the height area of the base times the height. So I have written all of this down on the whiteboard right here, as you can see. So here we have the cylinder, we have the circle and the rectangle that we already discussed. So in order to calculate the volume, all we need to do is area of the circle, which is given by the formula of pi times r squared. And we know the height is given by h. And this will bring us to the volume of the cylinder being pi r squared times h. And that's it. That's exactly the volume of the cylinder, whether it is this high, this tall, or maybe the larger tanks that you see in industries. Pi r squared times h, area of the base times the height. And that's it. So in today's video, we learned not only the volume of a cylinder, but also how it relates to an additional shape, meaning how a rectangle is related to that of a cylinder. So if you like this presentation and an easier way to understand mathematical concepts, then do let me know. All my contact information has been provided for you in the description box. And I will see you in the next video. All right, until then, bye-bye.